Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, excellent. Everybody, welcome once again. We're going to begin now. Just give me one second. Okay, here we go. Um, yes. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Only listen. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Here we go. Okay, there it is. Um, and I'm calling attendance. Just when you hear your name, let me know. Class 11. Okay, Adán Iglesia Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio de Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. Good I evening. Am Welcome. Uh, I am listening to the class. Only okay, because I am driving for my okay. house. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. David Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am here. Thank you, David. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present, Welcome, Enrique. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Present, teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alballero. Ever Francis Alballero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oye Ruiz. Evert Aristides. Hello, Evert. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. Present teacher. Tengo problemas de conexión ahí. Okay, Evert. Thank you. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Hello, José. José Valentín. Hi. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present, teacher. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Juan Francisco Arrasábal Calderón. Presente. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present teacher. Welcome, Karen. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello, María Magdalena. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ibet Merino Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. 
Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present teacher. Welcome, Salvador. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Saúl. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. We have a chat entry. Ever dice presente. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present, present, teacher. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Chat entry here. Okay. All right, let's begin. Um, I'm calling attendance at the end again. So, okay, uh, this is welcome everybody. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 11. Today's August the 11th of 2023 or 2023, whatever you prefer. Uh, let's begin. Yesterday, I gave you some homework. Okay, tarea. So take a look. Complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. We completed the first part of this. Say, who's that woman? Why are you looking at her? Do you know that man? Yes, I work with him. Where are the tickets? I can find them. I can't find my keys. Where are they? We're going out. Okay, you can come with uh, us. Okay, uh, Mary likes music. She plays the piano. Now we have number seven. Number seven. We didn't do. So, uh, number seven. Who can tell me number seven? Raise your hand. Era tarea. Vamos a ver quién ha hecho. Number seven. I don't like dogs. So, Maria Lourdes? I don't like dogs. I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid of them. That is correct. Okay. I'm afraid of dogs. You use an object pronoun right here because it comes after the preposition of. And remember, you use object pronouns after verbs and after prepositions. And of is a preposition. So um, I don't like dogs. I'm afraid of them. What about number eight? Okay. Uh, Cecia and then Saul. Okay. Cecia, number eight. Saul, number nine. I, Welcome, Cecia. I'm talking the way. to you. Thank you. I'm talking to you. Please listen to me. I'm talking to you. Please listen to me. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. That is correct. Just one thing, always remember the pronunciation. When you say talk, the verb talk, the L is silent. You don't pronounce it. So we don't say, I'm talking to you. Mm -mm. You say, I'm talking to you. So the L is silent. You don't have to pronounce it. So talk, talk. The same thing happens with the verb walk. Okay. The L in walk is silent. So you don't say walk. Mm -mm. You say walk. Just like that. Talk, walk. Como los walkie-talkies, ¿verdad? Ahí vienen las palabras, walkie-talkies. Entonces, ahí vamos. Okay, so thank you, Cecia. Um, Saúl, uh, number nine. Where is Anne? I want to talk to her. I want to what? I want to talk to her. Remember, the L is silent. You don't pronounce it. The pronunciation is talk. 
talk. Okay, so again, where is N? I want to talk to her. Okay, correct. Thank you. Where is N? I want to talk to her. Very good. Thank you, Saul. Um, number 10, the last one, has to be a different person this time. Tiene que ser alguien diferente esta vez. Quien ya haya participado en este ejercicio no puede participar ahorita. So, I want one more person for number 10. Number 10. Come on. Ever Enrique. My brother has a new job. He doesn't lie. It very much. Okay, yeah. My brother has a new job. He, subject pronoun, doesn't like it, object pronoun, very much. Okay, good. My brother has a new job. He doesn't like it very much. Good. Everybody, thank you for your participation. On to the next exercise. And uh, that's it. Complete the sentences. Follow the example. The first one's going to be the example. I need that book. Can you give it to me? Can you give it? It refers to the book. Me refers to the person that needs the book. I need that book. Can you give it to me? Okay, so you have to use give something to someone. Give is a verb. So after the verb, you use an object pronoun. To is a preposition. So after the preposition, you use an object pronoun. All right. So what about number two? He wants the key. It's one key. He wants the key. Maria de Lourdes. He wants the key. Can you, can you give it to her, to his, him? Can you give it to, sorry? To him. To him, okay. He wants the key, can you give it to him? That's correct, okay. Can you give it, can you give the key? Can you give it to him? Him is he, right? So he wants the key, can you give it to him? Good, thank you. What about number three, okay? Cecia. She wants to key. The keys. Can you eat keys? Mm. So she wants to keys. Can you give to her? Okay, can you give? Ah, perdón. It, mm. to, it to her. Okay, but there's a problem. It's plural. The keys. It's not one key. It's two Three or more keys. Okay, so can you? He wants two keys. Can you? They. No. No, can they... you? You have to use a verb. Can you? Ah, can you give? Can you give? Can you give? I mean, it's plural. It to mm -mm. you can't no, say to... you can't say it because the keys is a plural noun. Por eso sería mm -hmm. they them. Aha, aha, aha. Can you give? Mm -hmm. Can you give them to her? That is correct. Okay, she wants the keys. Can you give them to her? Correct. Them refers to the keys. Her refers to the subject she. Okay, very good. Uh, Erika thank Beatriz you. is here. Okay, thank you, Erika. Welcome. And Ever Francis Alvallero is also here. Thank you. Welcome, the both of you. Okay, number four. I need a volunteer. It can't be Maria de Lourdes and it can't be Cecia. It has to be a different person. Wilbert, thank you. Okay, teacher. I need that uh, letter. Is this a pronunciation of the word? Letter. Letter. I need, uh, I need that letter. Can you give me it to me? 
Okay, can you give? Permítame. Okay. Sí. No, no está soplando la respuesta. Give? No, me <laughs> el, Okay. El okay. Entonces, I need that letter. Can That's you mm -hmm. give give it to me? Can you give it? Oops. Can you wait a second? Yes. Can you give it to me? Yes. Can you give it to me? Give it. It is the letter to me. Me is the subject I. Okay, good. Thank you, Wilbur. Now, number five. I need a volunteer. It can't be Maria Lourdes or Cecia or Wilbur. It has to be a different person. Number five. Jose Benjamin. Uh, they want the money. Can you give it to us? No, they no. want the money. Hey. Not we. No, no, they want the money. So, can you give it to? Can you give it to? Mm, sería... Vamos a volver a ver, dice. They want the money. Can you give it to? Sería her. No, 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 because her is only one lady, one woman. They say they. Sí, sí. Two or more people. They, they want the money. Can you give it to? Sí. Bueno, me ayudan, por favor, me equivoqué. Ah, va, vamos, vamos, vamos. No, yo sé que usted puede llegar a la respuesta, vamos. Ok, va, aquí tiene. They, they want the money, the money. Usted me, me dijo correctamente, can you give it? It se refiere al money, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahora, ¿quiénes son los que quieren el dinero? Ellos. Ellos, así es. ¿Cuál es el object pronoun equivalente de they? They es el subject pronoun. ¿Cuál es el object Them. pronoun? Uh -huh. Them. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Entonces sería, eh, sería, they want the money, can you give it to them? No, can you give it to? Can you give it to them? To them, okay, it, that's right. They want uh, the money, can you. you give it to them? Okay, good, thank okay, you. you're welcome. They want the money, can you give it to them? It refers to the money. Them refers to the subject pronoun, they. Okay? Okay, good. Thank you. Number six. Anybody except Jose Benjamin, Wilber, Cecia, or Maria de Lourdes? Maria Magdalena. Ya estoy en casa. Puedo hablar. Es eso. We need, ¿me escucha? Yes. We need the programs. The Te voy a la mano. Por. We need the photographs. The photograph. Can you give it photographs. to her? Photographs. For, photographs. Aha, uh -huh. plural. Photographs. Um, hmm. Can you give it to mm -hmm. us? Okay. Uh -huh. To us is correct, but the problem is the photographs, that's a plural noun, not singular. It's plural. It's plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yeah. So can you? Can you then? Can you, can you, the verb, can you? Can you give them us? Can you give them preposition? It, then, mm -hmm. then us. Okay, okay. Can you give them, you need a preposition? Can you give them us? Follow the example. Can you give it to me? Can you give it to him? Can you give it ah, to her? Okay. okay. Ah, we need to, the photographs. To house. Okay. Can you okay. see it completely? Can you can you give them? Eh, I se me la to, to to us. Can you give them to us? Oh, for us. 
No, to us. to us. Okay, can you give them to us? Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Okay, there's the exercise. Okay, good. So can you give them? Them is an object pronoun that refers to the photographs. Us is the subject is the object pronoun that refers to the pronoun we. Okay. There you go. Adán Iglesias presente. Thank you, Adán. Okay. All right, now back to the main uh, uh, set of exercises from the platform. You need to complete these conversations then practice with a partner, okay? So what are you going to use here? You have to use everything we have been studying for the last three classes. In the last three classes, we have studied question form of the present simple tense. You know, do and does, subject and then the verb. And also we have studied subject and object pronouns, okay? So you need to apply all that right here. So what are we going to do? Complete the conversation, these conversations, then practice with our partner. So this is yo, yo, ma. So um, what is, uh, it's a conversation. So I need two volunteers for the first conversation. One is going to be A, the other one's going to be B. So, two volunteers, please, for the first conversation. Cecia? And who else? And Wilbur. Thank you. Okay, Cecia, you're A. Wilbur, you're B. Um, do you like science fiction movies? Do you like science fiction movies? Correct. You use the auxiliary do because the subject is you. And you use do with I, you, we, and they. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you, Cecilia. Please, teacher, uh, uh, repeat the pronunciation. Science fiction. Ah, uh, science fiction. Science fiction. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, science fiction. Yes. Okay. Uh, Wilbur, 1B. Please. No, I don't. Yes. No, uh, perdón, I don't like it very much. Science fiction movies is a plural noun. So, I don't like it. Mm -mm. It is singular. Ay, ay, ay. Are? No, no, that's the verb be. That's different. You have to use an object pronoun. Okay, you tell me, I don't like it very much. Okay, but it is an object pronoun that you use for things that are singular. But when you say science fiction movies, that's plural. So what's the object pronoun that you need? Come on, come on, you can do this. I don't like them. plural. Voy a usar el comodín ahí en ese verbo que se me ha escapado, teacher. Ok. ¿Quién quiere need, ser millonario? Ok. Sí, who, who, wants to, who wants to be a millionaire? Ok. Ok, so, uh, all right. Ceci is going to help you. Ok. No, I don't. I don't like them very much. I don't like them very much. Ok, that's the plural form. Ok. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Wilbur. Thank you, Ceci. Number two, I need two more volunteers except Cecia or Wilbur. Ever Enrique, okay. Ever Enrique, you're A, and who's B? I need another volunteer. Come on. Wants to take B. Ever, they left you alone on this. You have been abandoned. Ha abandonado a Ever Enrique. Sí. 
Incredible. Okay, ¿quién, ¿quién se anima? María de Lourdes. Thank you very much. Okay. Ever, you start. Are Jay and Lisa like soap operas? Mm -mm. This is a question in present simple. In present simple, you don't use the verb be as an auxiliary. You have to use do or does. Does Jay and Lisa like soap operas? Okay, take a look. When you say Jake and Lisa, that is the equivalent of they. So, what is the correct auxiliary verb? Yeah. Do Jay and Lisa like soap operas? Yeah. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? I think Jake doesn't but i don't know about lisa why well, don't well but let's let's take a look okay why don't you ask her is correct but when you say i think jake normally this will be affirmative not negative so i think jake i think jake does i think jake does well, it's negative here. I'm sorry. Ah, ya me acordé. En la plataforma aparece como negativo. Por eso le puse este asterisco. Okay. Aunque lo normal sería que fuera does, porque dice, I think Jake does. Yo creo que Jake sí. ¿Ah? Pero no sé, Lisa. Okay, why don't you ask her? Okay. De nuevo, aparece este asterisco acá porque en la plataforma lo la respuesta que toma como correcta es does. Mm -hmm. But okay, thank you, Maria Lourdes. Okay, um, number three, I need uh, two more volunteers, please. Quien se anime a tomar A va a ser un poquito más complicado porque ya ven que son tres cosas, cuatro palabras que hay que completar ahí. Number 3A. Franklin de la O is here. Welcome, Franklin. Yes, teacher. Okay. But Cecia has already participated. Thank you, Cecia. But we need to give someone else an opportunity. Vaya, vamos. Estoy eh, denegando eh, la oportunidad de participar a aquellos que, <ríe> son una carita llorando, a aquellos que ya participaron en el ejercicio, para que los demás se animen también. Salvador, thank you very much. You're A. Now, I need another volunteer for B. B is easy, only one word. Okay? Who wants to try? Okay, okay number three. But, but just a but... moment, just, uh, just a moment. Uh, we need the other volunteer. Si estamos al otro, ¿qué va a hacer el B? Está fácil, solo una palabra tiene que agregar ahí. Un object pronoun. So, um, who wants to who wants to try B? Please. Ah. Voy a elegir entonces yo. Ok. Enrique, thank you. Okay, Salvador, 3A. Teacher, okay. tengo, teacher, tengo problemas de señal, pero lo voy a intentar. Okay, great, thank you. What kind of music do, Nari, do Nariko and Eden like? Correct. What hey. kind of music do Noriko and Ethan like? That is correct, because Noriko and Ethan are two people, they. So, you use do. Very good. Enrique, B, please. Uh, they love classic music. Classical Noriko music. Really, like 
Yo yo me. Yo yo ma is this man here. This uh, yo -yo cello uh, player. Okay, so this is yo yo ma. Mm -hmm. Okay, Salvador. He, does he play? Again, please. Do, does he play? Does he play? But if you say, does he play? That's a yes, no question. And the answer is the cello. The cello is this instrument right here. The answer is the cello. So you need to ask a WH question, an information question. Is what he play? Uh -huh, okay. Good. But can you combine your first question with the second question? What? He. Okay, but you need an auxiliary verb. What? What hell? Mm -mm. Combine la primera pregunta con la segunda pregunta. Y le va a salir enterito ahí todo. What? What I have. Mm -mm. Auxiliary. Remember the auxiliary verbs. Cuando usted me dijo la primera, su primera versión de la pregunta, eh, utilizó el auxiliar. Pero ya en la segunda lo dejó afuera. No, tiene que conservarlo. Sería entonces, what? What, what are you playing? Mm, not exactly. Okay. Auxilio. Okay. What are the two auxiliaries that you use in present simple? One is do, and the other one is does. So, what is the question? What does he play? What does he play? Or what instrument does he play? Ponemos instrument in parenthesis porque no es absolutamente necesario. What does he play or what instrument does he play? Okay, Enrique Perez. Uh, to say I have his new CD. Let's, let's, let's listen to me. No, we are going to listen to the CD. So let's listen to me. No, you're going to listen to the CD. Mm -hmm. No, no lo van a oír so a usted. Van a... Aha. Okay, let's listen to it. That's right. It. It. Va a oír el, el CD, ¿verdad? Disco compacto. Así que, let's listen to it. Okay. There you go. That's uh, knowledge check 4.4 that you can find in the platform. Okay, so everybody, please complete that. Very good practice. Okay. Just give me a moment. Just a second. Okay, so what is next? Uh, exercise 4.5. What's that? In this lesson, participants will listen notice and use intonation in yes, no questions. En esta clase los participantes escucharán, se darán cuenta y usarán la intonación adecuada en las preguntas. Okay, dije yo yes, no questions, pero nada más questions. The pronunciation, okay, intonation in questions. Now, I want you to listen and practice. Now, what is this? Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. What is rising intonation? Goes like this. Mm, goes up. Mm. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Falling. Hmm. Okay. That's the difference. So you have the first question that goes, do you like pop music? Now, this is a yes, no question because the answer is yes or no. So if it is a yes, no question, the intonation goes up and you say, do you like pop music? Uh -huh. Okay, intonation goes up. Do you like pop music? Mm -hmm. And what happens when you have a WH question or information question? When that happens, the intonation goes down. The intonation falls, okay? So what kind of music do you like? 
Okay, what kind of music do you like? Hmm, it goes down. What kind of music do you like? Like, it goes down. You don't ask the question, what kind of music do you like? That is incorrect uh, intonation. Okay, so remember, yes, no questions, rising intonation. WH questions, falling intonation. Okay, I need volunteers. Oh, Salvador. No, okay, I Hola. need a, okay, okay, uh, I need volunteers. Practice these questions. The first three questions are yes, no questions. The other three questions are WH questions. So depending on the type of question, you have to change your intonation. So I need a volunteers. Wilbert, can you read the first question, please? So like uh, la mano, teacher. Okay. Sí, permítame, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like TV? Okay, do you like TV? Okay. Do you like TV? You... Right? Ah, uh, TV, okay. Do you like music videos? Okay, do you like music videos? Okay. And the last one? Do you play a music musical instruments? Do you play a musical instrument? Okay, it goes up. So, do you like TV? Do you like, like music TV? videos? Do you play a musical instrument? Okay. The three are yes, no questions. So they have rising intonation. Thank you, Wilbur. Now I need a volunteer to read the last three questions. They are WH questions. Therefore, they have falling intonation like this one. What kind of music do you like? Do you like? Salvador Hernandez will read the first one. Maria Magdalena will read the second one. And then we'll ask for another volunteer for number three. So, Salvador, let's do this. And then Jose Benjamin will read number three. Salvador, the first one, please. What program do you like? Mm, can you do it again? What programs do you like? Will be something like, what programs do you like? What programs do you like? Goes down. Do you like? Can you say it again, please? What program do you like? Okay, we go there. What programs do you like? Okay, goes down. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. The second one, please. What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Okay, what videos do you like? Okay, thank you. And Jose Benjamin, the last one, please. What music instrument do you play? What musical instrument do you play? Okay, what musical instrument do you play? It goes down. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thanks for your participation. It's important to uh, have the right intonation in questions. Okay, it's very, very, very important. All right. Uh, now, everybody, take a look. Lesson objective 4.7. Right, that was... Uh, 4.6, okay? So 4.7, we're supposed to be, uh, let's see, if you can see the screen, this is 4.4. 4.5 was an objective. 4.6 is the intonation in questions. I want you to uh, watch the video. Always remember, watch the videos. You will see someone explaining this. And uh, now we're here, which is 4.7, lesson objective. Let's go with F11 so you can see it here. Um, Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about the contestants. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán un programa de TV en donde deben poner atención a los detalles de los concursantes. It's a listening exercise. So everybody, I want you to listen carefully. 4.7, so what is this? 4.8, listening exercise, who's my date, okay? Who's my date? This is right here, 4.8. Who's my date? Uh, you can listen to it right here, and then you have to choose the correct answer. But because we're going to do this a bit more interesting, I want you to do it like this. Listening, who's my date? Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda, this is Linda, on a date. Tres hombres quieren invitar a Linda a una cita. Okay, what kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things 
does Linda like? Okay, so you have it here. You have three categories. The first one is music. The second one is movies. And the third one is TV programs. And the four people are Bill, John, Tani, and Linda. Okay? So you know that Bill likes classical music. What about John, Lin Toby, and Linda? You have to write the kind of movies that they like and the kind of TV programs that they like. I recommend paper and pencil for this activity or paper and pen. Le recomiendo ahorita que tomen apuntes, okay? Take notes. Que es información, es bastante información. I'm going to play the track like about three times. Um, all right, um, just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to play the track. Let me know if you can hear it. Dicenme si pueden escucharlo. Come on. Can you hear that? Yes, it yes. Is. Okay, great, great. Okay, everybody, listen, take notes. I'm going to play the track twice. Okay, so pay close attention. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? I'm going to play the track a second time, okay? Here we go. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay. So... Here we 
here we go. Um, what about we need a list? I, I need a volunteer to. Sonido, teacher. Sonido. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I need a volunteer to tell me about Bill. Uh, Bill likes classical music. What kind of movies and TV programs does Bill like? Maria Magdalena. Only Bill. What kind of movies does Bill like? Classical music. He likes classical music. Okay, now, what kind of movies does he like? Ah, movies. Es que no lo puedo pronunciar. Let's Decía, try. Este, bueno, algo así. No lo puedo pronunciar. Mm, westerns. No, it's not westerns. It's a different type of movie. Who can help us here? Ever. Thriller. He likes thrillers. Okay, yeah. Likes thrillers. That's the kind of movies he likes. Uh, give me a moment. Animations, no animations. Okay. So he likes thrillers. And what kind of TV shows does he like? Ever. News programs. News programs. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. What about John? I need a volunteer. Adan Iglesias, then Maria Lourdes, goes with Tani. Okay, so Adan Iglesias, tell me about John. What kind of music does he like? Uh, jazz. He likes yes. jazz. Okay, very good. What kind of movies does he like? Adan? Uh, uh, I don't know. Eh? Okay. Maria Lourdes, can you help us? What kind of movies does John like? Western. He likes westerns. Okay, good. Películas de vaqueros. He likes westerns. Clint Eastwood. And what kind of TV programs does he like? Maria Lourdes? Um, he likes talk show. He likes talk shows. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. He likes talk shows. Jose Benjamin. What about Tony? Tell me about Tony. What kind of music does he like? He likes rock. He likes rock music. What kind of movies does he like? Um, horror films. He likes horror films. Horror films. Okay. He likes Film. horror, horror films. films. Okay. And what kind of TV programs does he like? He likes game show. He likes game shows. Very good. Thank you very much. And the last one. What about Linda? Who can tell me about Linda? Ebert. Okay, what kind of music does Linda like? Pop music. Pop music. Okay, she likes pop music. Yeah, that is correct. What kind of movies does Linda like? Horror films. Horror films. Yeah, she likes horror films. Good. And what kind of TV programs does she like? Vamos a ver si lo puedo pronunciar, teacher. Ok. Talk show. Talk shows. In the game. Talk show in uh -huh. the game shows. Talk shows and game shows. Yeah, correct. She likes talk shows and game shows. Yeah, very good. Okay, so that's that's the listening part. Everybody, uh, thank you for your participation. Um, you have it in the platform. In the platform, is a little bit different because you only have to select. Easy. Okay, now you have the answers. Okay, you can do it very easily. So we go with the first, with the next part. Okay, 4.9. We don't have much time. It's 7.50 already, so wow, time flies. Okay, um, just give me a second here. Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. This is very important. Okay, here we go. Uh, lesson objective 4.9. In this lesson, uh, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. Now, this is a new structure, so I need you to pay close attention. 
En esta clase los participantes escucharán una conversación donde el uso de gustaría o quisiera para invitaciones es presentado cuando se hacen planes. Estas traducciones son bien literales. Ok, vamos. So this is a conversation, an invitation. Ok. So an invitation, listen and practice. Ok. Now, um, I want you to listen to this conversation and uh, after that, I will need some volunteers to read it for me and then we're going to clarify vocabulary and everything we normally do. So uh, let's listen to it. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Page 25, exercise Oops. 8, part. All right, here we go. Um... So uh, I need two volunteers to read this. One one man and one lady, please. One man to play Dave and one lady to play Susan. Not everybody at the same time. Okay, Cecia and Wilbur. Thank you. Uh, Cecia, you play Susan and Wilbur, you play Dave. Let's do this. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. On on Friday what, night. Friday night. Where do you like to go? To go? Okay, I have tickets hey. to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Okay, Cecia, sorry. Okay, thanks. I love to. What time does it start? And at eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, if the light to Bob, I, I have. I, I'd like to. I'd like to, but I have to work like late. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the, the game. Sería, teacher, la última frase. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Dave says, I have tickets to the concert to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Susan says, thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? Dave says, at 8, 8 o'clock. Uh, Susan says, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at 6? Dave says, um, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Susan says, oh. That's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Dave says, okay, let's meet at the gate. And Susan says, that sounds fine. See you there. All right, before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? David. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Y la palabra esa de... I love. I love. Okay. So you mean um, when they say I love to. Okay. What you mean is this apostrophe and D, right? Okay. I means I would. I would. That's the meaning of that. Cuando va a ocupar would? Would es un modal auxiliary. Este tipo de verbos se ocupan en frente de otros verbos para cambiar su eh, significado sustancialmente. Cuando ocupamos would, 
y un verbo. Eso es como cuando usted dice, ia, me gustaría, iría, comería, trabajaría, sería, etc., etc. That's the meaning of that. So when you say, I would love to, o como aparece ahí, I'd, que es la misma contracción, I'd love to, es como me encantaría. Right? I'd love to. That's the meaning. So, uh, when Dave says, would you like to go? Que le está preguntando. ¿Te gustaría ir? Would, ¿verdad? Ese would hace que es, es el equivalente al español cuando lo veremos termina en ia, ¿verdad? Gustaría, iría, tendría, habría, podría, etcétera, etcétera. So, would you like to go? ¿Te gustaría ir? And then Susan says, thanks, I'd love to. Me encantaría. I would love to. What time does it start? Dave says at eight. And uh, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? And Dave says, uh, I'd like to. Me gustaría. But, pero, okay, I have to work late. Tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. No puedo. So I'd like to, but I have to work until late. Enrique. Teacher, entonces sería una posibilidad. Son posibilidades. No exactamente. Um, estamos hablando de una situación hipotética. De eso es lo que se trata. Es decir, si tenemos estas y estas condiciones, este sería el resultado. No es totalmente seguro. Pero si se dan las condiciones, entonces eso es lo que va a pasar. Entonces, cuando dice, would you like to go? ¿Te gustaría ir? ¿Ok? ¿Por qué le pregunta? Porque no sabe si le gustaría o no le gustaría. Si tiene ganas o si no tiene ganas. Entonces, would you like to go? Igual 50, que en español. 50, pues, ir, no ir. ¿Te gusta? Algo así, ¿verdad? ¿Te gustaría ir? ¿Ok? ¿Te gustaría? Está preguntando. Y Susan le dice, thanks, I'd love to. Gracias, me encantaría. O sea, si me invitas, ¿verdad? Me encantaría. Ir. So, I would love to. That's the thing. Gracias, Igual teacher. cuando ella... Uh -huh. You're welcome. Como cuando dice, um, do you want to have dinner at six? Que quiere cenar a las seis. Y Dave le dice, I'd love, I'd like to, me gustaría, pero no puedo. I'd like to, but I have to work late. That's the thing. So uh, that's why we have this here. I want everybody to take a good look. Lesson objective. Ah, sorry. Before we continue, do you have any more questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Any other questions? No question. No questions. Okay. No problem then. Um, okay. So we're just going to take a look at the next uh, part, which is uh, lesson objective 4.11. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of would in questions and answers. Al final de esta clase, los participantes comprenderán el uso de gustaría, quisiera, en preguntas y respuestas. So, how does it work? I want you to take a look. Solo vamos a medio tocar este tema ahorita, porque ya no nos alcanza el tiempo. Pero bueno, grammar focus. Would plus verb, to verb. So, you have, would you like, te gustaría, Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir. Después de este like van a ocupar tú. Would you like to go out on Friday? Te gustaría salir el viernes? You say, now, because this is a yes, no question, you have to use the same auxiliary verb. So would is the auxiliary verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. You can say, yes, I would love to. Me encantaría. Thanks, or yes, I would really like to go. De verdad, me gustaría mucho ir. I would really like to go. This is when you accept an invitation. But what happens when you decline an invitation? ¿Qué pasa cuando usted rechaza una invitación? Decline. Would you like to go to a soccer match? You can say, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Me gustaría, pero tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. Cecia. Sí. 
Cecia, do you have a comment, a question? Uh, no. No, you sure? <laughs> okay, solo quería levantar la mano. All right, so um, would you like to go to a soccer match? You can say, I'd like to, but I need to save money. Uh, tickets no son gratis, así que... I'd like to say, I need to save money. Me gustaría, pero tengo que ahorrar dinero. And I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. ¿verdad? Me gustaría, pero quiero visitar a mis padres. Así que voy a tener que eh, paso esta vez, ¿verdad? So the contraction of would is apostrophe D. I'd means I would. Okay? So we're going to stop here and we're going to continue Monday. So uh, before we go, I'm going to uh, take attendance one more time. If you hear your name, let me know. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Is Arles here with us tonight? Okay. Ivan Alexis Rodriguez Asensio. Is Ivan Alexis here? I don't think so. Give me a moment. Okay, um, Jose Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Is Jose Amilcar present tonight with us? Jose Valentin Rivera. Is Jose Valentin Rivera here? Mauro Orlando Vasquez Segura. Is Mauro with us tonight? Oscar Susana Castellano. President teacher. Welcome. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio. I see him in the list. I am here, President. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Por favor, completen si es posible, si es posible ya la, la sección número cuatro, por favor en la plataforma. Igual, el lunes vamos a concluir la sección 4 y creo que también nos da tiempo para comenzar la número 5, ¿verdad? Lo cual es muy útil. Que vayamos un poquitín adelantados. Así que, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great weekend and I will see you Monday. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Adiós. Gracias. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.